What is going on, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber. Me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review of the Nike Barkley Posit Gamma Blue Edition, man. Coming up. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of a, I want to say this is like a, a Durabuck or a Nubuck. I know it's not suede, but like it's a pretty sturdy upper. And then you got um, foam posit all throughout the shoe, as you can see. They combined a Charles Barkley shoe with the foam posit, and that's why you got the um, Barkley posit. And you know, when I first seen this design, I was like pretty intrigued by it. But anyways, um, let me get to the shoe. This is where the foam posit material comes in. You got that nice wavy design and that silver nice and then you got that um gamma blue like speckle pattern all throughout the upper uh, on that black which gives it a nice contrast then you got those you know gamma blue hits on the eyelet you got the Nike check and gamma blue then on the midsole it's like a black with the little silver hits right here you also got the um gamma blue poking out on the air max uh, midsole on the air max bubble and on the back of the shoe it says cb Charles Barkley, pretty great aspect of the shoe. Then on the pull tab, it got air. And on the medial side of the shoe, it is exactly like the lateral side of the shoe. Getting towards the lacing system of the shoe is just your Barkley Posit lacing. You probably can't see it, but there's like holes in this um, toe box right here. If they had more contrasting colors, you would see it better. On the laces, it's black and gamma blue all the way to the tips, which is a pretty nice touch. As you get to the tongue, you got that CB logo and gamma blue and white. Also one cool thing about this shoe is that it has Charles Barkley saying on there on, on the right shoe it says not a roll and then on the left shoe it says model because he said that um, one time in the interview and Nike kind of ran with it and made it his um, slogan campaign which is pretty nice. As far as sizing goes with this shoe I would suggest going an entire size up if you have a fat or a wide foot. If you have a normal foot go a half size up. If you have a narrow foot you can definitely go true to size in these shoes. These fit similar to foam posits so whatever size you wear in foam you can wear them in these. These shoes retail at $235. Also these came out in 2013 over a decade ago and how I came across my pair was when these came out I want to say this was the first colorway maybe this was the first colorway um, of this um, particular shoe model to drop they combined a, a, a Barkley with the um, foam posit and they meshed it together and that's how you got these shoes but um, I don't know if they made a couple models before this colorway or whatever but like when these first came out I wasn't really interested like they were okay but like I wasn't really mainly interested but when they dropped this colorway i had to have them like you got that you know got that black with that gamma blue with that silver hits like it really just made the shoe pop and it really at the time you know everything was gamma everything was space and stuff like that it really fit with the space theme that was really popping during those years so i had to get these 235 bucks was a little bit too much especially during that time like you know, this was a, the, um, like the only time shoes would be that high is like if you're getting a phone posit, in which made sense, in which it was $235 because this is made mainly a phone posit material. But anyways, how I came across my pair, when these came out in stores, these were so cold to me, I ended up paying retail. Like I, at the time, I was like a newer sneakerhead, not, not, and not necessarily in knowledge, but more so in, in buying shoes. So like I... In the back of my mind, I knew these might sit, but I didn't want to take that chance. So I just bought my pair and I, I paid like 260 for them. And then eventually as they sat and they sat, I was like, man, I could have got these for a lower price. So I ended up like selling them on like Kixify. Like, I, like, I don't know if you remember Kixify. It's still out. It's a nice place to sell shoes. But like at the time, a lot of, I used to sell a lot of shoes on Kixify and I ended up selling them for like, 250 or something like that so i took like maybe like a a, a 20 30 dollar loss on them and then i eventually got them back again um using my man's foot locker discount i got them for like 170 175 bucks it wasn't the friends and family discount it was just a regular foot locker employee discount so i ain't gonna play the video this time but so i met up with homie at his foot locker they had them in stock they was just sitting on the shelves you know he bought them and he gave them to me um, this was also at the time in which I was not trying on shoes before I bought them because I should have tried these shoes on. In foams, I wear a size 12. My regular true to size is a size 11. These are size 11, so I can't wear these. If I tried to put my foot in them, my feet would go. Dogs would be barking in these, man. Probably after like three or four steps, my, my pinky toe will just start like throbbing a little bit. 
then it'll like go over to my big toe and then my the middle of my foot and I would just be out there in pain, man. Like, you know, I can't do that. I'd rather just get these back to the street. So that's what I did, man. I put these up on eBay, sold them for like 225, 230. So, you know, probably, you know, after fees and stuff, I'll probably get what I paid for them, you know, but maybe a little bit more 10 years ago. So I gotta get these back to the streets. It sucks because I really like these shoes. I might later on back down the line try and reach back out and get me a size 12 in these but i got so many shoes i doubt i do that also during this time nike was going crazy with the gamma blue colorway like they dropped the gamma blue 11s you know about those the gamma blue 12s these was a few this was a gamma blue shoe that they dropped but like almost every shoe that nike dropped or jordan dropped in gamma blue it was just flame to me i wanted to get them all but i didn't i had to get just maybe two or three shoes the number one shoe, in my opinion, was the Gamma Blue 12s. This was number two, and then followed by the Gamma Blue 11s. And also, if you didn't know, I can't do an on foot on these because I just sold them. Also, my feet would not allow me to do that. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite Charles Barkley shoe. It could be these, it could be the CB2s, the CBs, whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. Takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace. Toby, just do it. Hey, yo, is that that Mexican OT?